Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you what's my university life like. Let's get started. After saying Zhao San to my dorm supervisor, I walk out of the dormitory. See, there are some vending machines which are extremely useful when I cram for exams. Look at how gorgeous the weather is. I cannot enjoy the sunshine more. I'm going to the University of Hong Kong by Metro. It takes about two minutes only. I'm so into the design of the smile seats. 七十一，梗有一间鞋左嘅。This is the phrase I learned in Cantonese class. Seven Eleven is a convenience store you can find almost everywhere in Hong Kong. Now I am in the HKU Metro Station. Look at this wall full of pictures regarding HKU's history. The history is particularly engaging when I queue here and wait for the lift on a Monday morning. And here is the campus. You can have a wonderful city view right here. I am going to grab my breakfast from Starbucks. Banana cake and a caramel latte match so well with one another. It's still quite early now. I booked a study room in Chihua Library to practice my Cantonese speaking assignment. Cantonese is a compulsory course for international students at HKU. Finally, I'm done. From 9:30 to 12:30, I attended mathematics lectures, analysis, and linear algebra. I was really busy taking notes, so I didn't take any videos during the class. I come back to the library after the class, and I'm just reviewing my notes now. Who can resist this beautiful view? After the review, I'm going to reward myself with a tasty meal. So I come to Afafa. A Western restaurant just in front of the library, roasted no added homemade chicken quarter with wild mushroom sauce, served with rice and Ceylon milk tea, my favorite dish. <laughs> After lunch, I come back to the library. I have a tutorial this afternoon, so I plan to finish the tutorial sheet before the tutorial. Guess where I'm going? I'm going to submit my math assignment. Math students are asked to hand in their math assignments by putting them into the assignment box. Pretty cool, isn't it? On my way to the tutorial class, I'm just stunned by the scenery. Les mathématiques sont très difficiles. Tu viens de, tu viens en classe de français et j'adore le professeur de français parce que de français parce que elle est très gentille. Thank you for listening to my weird French. I am going to attend a two-hour French lecture. I swear, I'm focused on learning proverbe. Are you sure you're not drawing on Mona Lisa? I leave the class half an hour earlier than usual, as I'm going to attend the high table dinner organized by our residential hall. The road in Hong Kong is so hilly that I feel exhausted every time I return to the hall. Used to wearing high heels. Hello, people. 
I have no idea why my roommate and I take the video in the bathroom when there is a much better view outside. Look at this dessert, it looks so appetizing. But after I take some bites of it, it becomes like this. No, this one is more like I can finally walk confidently on heels. After taking some quick notes in library, I'm going to sleep and have a good night. Wait, this is not the end of today's video. What I've just shown you only accounts for 10% of my uni life. The rest, 90%. It's not cheerful at all. It's about an angry student staring at a question writing some solutions, erasing the solutions, repeating the process again and again, and then opening the mathematics stock exchange website to find some hints. It's about a diligent student trying hard to understand what the professor has just said, and then hearing someone in the classroom say, Excuse me, Dr. Hui, I think there is an easy way to solve this problem. It's about a depressing student sitting alone on a park bench after performing unsatisfactorily in an exam. When I was writing the script for today's video, I thought it would be a good idea to show you what's my university life like and then talk about what I've learned from different sides of my uni life. It took me a long time to develop a convincing conclusion. I had considered ideas like uh, balancing work and life trying different things and embracing failure, stopping to evaluate yourself based on your academic achievements, enjoying things that can make you truly happy, etc. But none of them really convinced me. Because I'm the one who's still experiencing my uni life, seeing with my eyes and feeling with my heart.